Ready and action. Uh, listen, am I in kind of trouble here? Or... Well, it's kind of up to you, Earl. You gonna dance with the tiger or are you gonna play ball? I don't know, he's gonna dance with the tiger. I'm not even sure what that means, Earl. Do you mind if I call you, Earl? <laughs> Earl, how long have you been with the post office? Uh, well, uh, Want to live years now? Have you had the same route for the most part? Yes, <laughs> Probably had towards your pension here pretty soon. Oh, you bet. Yes, sir. Who's the girl? That <laughs> shit! Who's the girl, Earl? Oh, 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 but I'm not under arrest here? You're not under arrest, but I know what you're doing here. Because lying isn't just not telling the truth, it's the omission of the truth, right? I don't know anything about any girl. I'm not lying. You don't know anything about any girl. Hey, 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 hey. I think it's clear that. Earl Harold doesn't know anything. I think your co-worker probably got a signals crossed. We told him. Yeah. 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 You yeah. might have told him. I mean, I don't know anyway. But anyway, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. So I appreciate your time. Okay. Well, uh, good luck with the pension. Hey, say that tiger gets Absolutely. <laughs> Getting up. So I think you're put that in your pocket. Barbara, is his notebook away? We were past you on camera, so. Yeah, I think it should be in his pocket. Maybe you're putting it away. Okay. Stand by. So he's already, he's getting up. Yep. Yeah. Ready? And up.
cut this. It's actually really good. Cut, 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 cut. A few things? You said a few things. Yeah. Oh, we also have 400 vials of Primo jizz. That's all in our refrigerator, so. And, um, how are you uh, planning on selling uh, Superman's blues? That's all I need to know. And how are you planning on selling Superman's blues? Um, eBay. Probably eBay. Yeah. Figure it out. All right, I'm taking the Lamborghini. So I'm taking two. A few things? You guys said a few things. Yeah. Yeah, we also have 400 vials of just the best jizz you've ever seen in your whole life. No, it's not weird. It's a long story. But and it's in the freezer. Yes. Yeah. And um, how uh, are you planning to uh, sell this, this jizz? eBay. You can sell anything on eBay. That's true. I'm taking the Lambo. I'm taking two. In six months, <laughs> today's the day we officially start spending that Monday. I wrote down what we have in all our accounts. You want to know? Yes, of course. <clears throat> Five million two hundred and thirty thousand and fifty-five cents.
Rick is always griping to me about all of these companies that are hiding their money, yeah. you know? And, and he says, it's always a paper trail. Favor Kristen, okay. now they're going to favor you on the dance part, so we've got the dance part. Okay. But then and we're then still go into the middle it. part is still okay. the two shot. Okay. Um, and we'll Did anything bump you? Yeah. I mean, as it was playing, it felt pretty natural, the way, because, you know, it's a lot of story to tell, but yeah. it felt very it's natural. natural. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, totally. And I like the, isn't that really strong to take out a little of money? Like, that work on your reaction, yeah. too, so. And, yeah, Chris did a great job with all that model. Okay, one more. Three, two, one, action. I mean, I get that. It's, Me, it's yeah. like you buy an expensive car, you want someone to see it. Of course. It. It's just, is it too aggressive? That's no, never. Question. And the finally, <laughs> the Lamborghini Urus merges the soul of a sports car with the functionality of an SUV. This one? Yeah. Ah. But this one is more than a car. It's a declaration of freedom. Freedom at 190 miles per hour. Okay. It's just Relax. a Relax, you're gonna hurt yourself. It's cool, man. You got us, all right? How much is this guy? Well, this beauty is priced at $265,000. So what do you say, ladies? Which one do you want? We'll take them all. Uh, <laughs> is it cheaper if we buy them in bulk? You said bulk. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we can work something out, absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Yeah, me too. Let's go work it out. Let's do it. Let me talk oh. to my dad. Okay. His dad. Hey, stay with me for more on comedy movies. Now, famed comedy director Todd Phillips, responsible for such classics as Old School and The Hangover, quit his role as director on Borat when he received death threats shortly after filming the Rodeo scene. Concerned for his safety, Phillips didn't feel comfortable continuing with the film. Remember to click here below to subscribe and tap the bell to always receive the latest trailers.